Hey team, how's it going? Welcome to Combat Ready HQ. We've got a great one for you today. The Royal Navy have released a statement. Uh, well, the tabloids have released a statement about the Royal Navy. You no longer need to be able to swim to join the Royal Navy. But before we actually get into it and discuss it, please like, share, subscribe. It really helps push the channel. Come and join the free Discord. The community is growing. Come and have a chat with us, recommend videos, chat fitness, anything you want. We have different channels to chat absolute everything. Check out our Instagram and check out our website where you can grab some combat ready coffee and some merch. But getting into it. So I heard it on the news today and I did a little bit of reading up on it. The Royal Navy have cha now changed the selection process. So there used to be a 30 minute swim test that you had to conduct and pass to join the Royal Navy and go and conduct and complete phase one training. You no longer need to do that as part of the assessment and selection phase. The Royal Navy are changing the sort of physical employment standards, okay, so the annual tests, which I'll cover in another video, um, which look pretty good from the research I've been doing, but I'm going to conduct a little bit more research before we go into that. So they are upgrading and making the physical employment standards better for the Royal Navy, so they're more suited to the job role. But new recruits are going to be joining phase one training, okay, for the Royal Navy who work on water, Okay, they work on water. You no longer have to pass a 30 minute swim test. Yes, they can't leave basic training without passing the swim test, but this shit just shows pure desperation um, by the armed forces and the Royal Navy, and it's really sad. They're saying they're not lowering the standards, but you are lowering the standards. Okay, they have to pass the tests to leave basic training. I get that. But all you're going to do is give them extra work in, in basic training, or you're just going to slow them down. Um, just leave the standards that they are people need to meet the standards but it just shows how bad recruitment is I'd show, I, I've done a few videos now on the army about how bad recruitment and retention is and I had people going oh it's not that bad Capita bringing it up they're not the Royal Navy have been down on recruitment for the last 12 years and ha has massively peaked last year and over the last few years where some years they've had a shortfall of around 23 to 26% of their recruitment target, which is quite surprising because the Royal Navy actually put out some really decent ads. I'd say their ads are better than the British Army ads, um, some of them, especially the Royal Air Force. Um, but the Royal Navy have been down on recruitment and this just shows how bad it is that you no longer have to pass the 30 minute swim test before joining. Yes, you have to pass it in basic training. What they're gonna do is they're gonna give the recruit um, the potential sailor an hour or two swimming lessons per week on top of their basic training but say you've got a complete non-swimmer who's got to go through basic training which is tough enough as it is you're going from civilian to sailor it's a steep learning curve um, you've got to learn everything along with the discipline and the marching whatever they do in the navy all your tr sort of basic trade sailor training um, the room inspections then you've got to worry that I'm a non-swimmer and I have to pass swimming before a basic training all you're going to do is most likely back troop loads of them they're going to join and they're not going to pass out um, with you know whatever they're called the ships or whatever they are in basic training sorry to get it wrong I don't really know um, but they're not we call it in platoons um, just because you know I'm army so they're not going to pass out with that platoon they're more than likely going to get back trooped but say in that one platoon you've got 10 non-swimmers and majority of them can't get up to standard throughout the basic training because they're only doing one or two hour swimming lessons a week and they're complete non-swimmers so they can't pass the 30 minute swim test at the end of basic training so you're going to keep them in training longer which is going to cost the taxpayer even more money uh, you're going to put more stress on that you know recruit uh, and likely that it might get too much that they might get injured or might just sack it off because it's too much just leave the standards where they are if you're joining the royal navy you need to be able to swim. And if you really wanted to join the Navy that much, okay, you would learn to swim before joining. You know that you've got to pass a swim test. So you're going to go to a swimming pool and you're going to train before you want to join. If you really wanted to, you'd put the effort in before you joined. You shouldn't have to lower the standards to get these people in and go, yeah, we'll just train you when you get in. Because it's more work, more money, uh, and more effort and a lot more stress for them as well. So... I think it's absolute load of, load of rubbish. I think it's just a shambles. It, it's embarrassing for the British Armed Forces. Um, what's next? We're just going to get rid of the bleep test for the British Army. Uh, just come in whatever standard and we'll get you up to standard. 
Uh, we, we, you know, we get rid of the bleep test or the run, whatever it is for the Royal Navy. Just get in and then we just we get you up to standard. Because I'm not going to lie, I've seen it happen with the British Army. They sort of lowered the grades um, and they got people into British Army basic training. And they're like, don't worry, the instructors are getting them up. But all you're doing is making more work for the instructors. And the, the instructors are already under a huge amount of pressure, a huge amount of stress and a lot of work already. They haven't got time to put in extra work to get them up to standard. You need that basic baseline level of fitness, mentality, discipline, teamwork, whatever it is. That's why we have basic standards. Uh, that's why we have these assessments. So everyone comes in at a baseline, all right, and then you're going to lower it for some and they're going to be under. So then the instructors have got to do more, that recruit's got to do more, and it just makes it harder. Um, so I think it's a load of rubbish. I think just keep the swim test in. You're the Royal Navy, you work on water, in water, whatever it is. If you really wanted to join, you pass the swim test. You really would. Um, like I said, the Navy are though, they are changing the physical employment standards. So you sort of annual fitness tests to come more in line with the job role, which is brilliant to see. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do another video more in depth on each of those sort of assessments and tests and what they're going to be, um, just so you are aware of this. But big news, the Royal Navy, you no longer need to be able to swim to do a job on water. Um, that's a lie because you have to pass it before you leave basic training, but you no longer have to pass to get into the Royal Navy, which I think is absolutely crazy. Like, where are we going to go next with this? What is happening to the British Armed Forces? Um you know, one of the most lethal and highly trained and professional armed forces um, is slowly losing its standards, um, which is really sad to see. Um, huge pride for armed forces and I want it to get back up. I want people to join and experience and do the things that I got to do and my friends and colleagues got to do. Um, <clears throat> so please don't do this. It's pure desperation. Bring it back in. It's more pressure for the recruits to try and pass in basic training you put more pressure on the instructors it's more work it's more money for the tax payer and i think it's the wrong thing to do you know the armed forces are already struggling for budget um you know you've got heads of the shed, heads of the army you know say in the military that we need to pump more money into the armed forces but they also need to stop wasting money stop wasting money on capita this is the desperation this is what they're doing because they can't do their job um Stop wasting money in training on kit that doesn't work or doesn't get used and actually spend it on stuff that actually works, okay? This is just another one of them. So, yeah, really sad to hear and see, but it is what it is. Like I said, you don't have to pass during the sort of selection phase to get in the army, but you need to pass the 30-minute swim test in basic training. But if you're a complete non-swimmer, you've got to go from zero to hero while also learning everything else in Royal Navy basic training. Um, but that's just come out in today. Uh, I like to keep you updated with any sort of future news. Anything I hear, I will do a video on it. The new physical employment stands for the Royal Navy. I will come with you soon. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're enjoying the channel and I'll see you soon.